Good morning, sir. Good morning. So it, it happened, and it happened quickly, and you brought in an expert. Yeah, um, we uh, had arranged to come in that morning, and um, I met Curtis and his team uh, down by um, the new medical center uh, on French Road. Yeah. And, um, you know, they went into the woods initially for about 40 minutes and came back out and uh, said that they saw some tracks. Um, and they were going to go back in, so um, I went up around uh, Burstone Road to see if maybe I could see yeah, yeah. Uh, anything up there. And uh, I got a call about an hour later that, uh, that they had it. Yeah, it was amazing. And on the line right now is uh, is Curtis. Curtis Walker Jr. is the real-life cowboy that is responsible. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning. So tell us how this happened. First of all, how did you find out about the, the cow in the first place? Uh, a friend of mine works um, in... Almost to you down a beef farm out there. I heard it on the uh, talk show in the morning that they needed uh, to catch a cow. He called me and said that he need, I needed to contact the uh, Utica Police Department. Beautiful. And I and I did and talked to um, Lieutenant Hawk and uh, Chief there um, that noon, and we kind of planned the day and hello. So, uh, so coming on the radio, Lieutenant, uh, actually has its benefits, after all. It, believe it or not, it does. In this case, it did. <laughs> who would have thunk it? I know. All right, so tell us how you did it. Uh, I mean, this is really amazing, something that's been going on since early summertime here. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I heard. Um, well, I got a set of dogs I got here. Um, what they do, they're called cattle leopards. They, um, they go out, they're like a hound, kind of. They use them for wild hogs and cows down south, Georgia, Alabama, Florida. Yeah. And uh, they kind of hunt for the cow itself. Um, out in front of you, you know, 500 yards, 800 yards away from you. And we hunted and hunted. Did give us that for a little bit, and then we seen that track. So I went back to the truck and kind of prepared ourselves just in case. And uh, we went out through the woods, and the dog, I got a dog named Louie, my best dog. He jumped in, and um, they come up, he come up over the highway there to right in front of Home Depot, and they, they stayed in the face, and they tried to stop it. So yeah, they, yeah. And he wasn't really stopping too good, so we had to throw him up on it pretty quick. So, uh, let me get this. Were you on a horse, literally, for this? Yeah. Yes, yes. We're going to go put him on the side, tie both front feet back feet so they don't choke, and... Uh, now listen, in my backyard, uh, sometimes I try to play cowboy and I get my daughter running away and I'll try to take the rope and I can never get it around her. Um, it's a, it's quite a talent to be able to pull this thing off. Oh, it is. It is. We, uh, I've been doing it all my life, but it is. It's especially, you know, there's two different kinds of roping. There's an arena roping where the steer runs straight. Mm -hmm. And then this is what we call the loose cow catcher. And we have the cow, it's so unpredictable, it turns left, right, in, out, back. And they're ten times harder to get over. Yeah, yeah. So now you do this though for a living. This is what you this is what you do. Yes, I actually kill cows, feed dairy cows, and I do this. Yes, sir. Wow, that's we pretty. Have a... Probably um, forty-five to fifty heads this summer. Now, what does it normally cost for a farm to bring in a cow? Well, it's a lot of work. Um, it's it's not like you know we have to have a big cow herd. Yeah. Um, it's it's not like that. Like safety cattle petting, you know, if they have trouble getting their cows in the pen to yeah. move them to pasture to pasture, and we uh, we kind of go in and do that too. We teach them how to, you know, teach them the safety way, the easiest way without any injury to anything. Right, right, got it. So we do that too. All right, and I, I'm wondering what was the demeanor of this cow? I mean, we've heard everything from, you know, just, uh, I mean, the thing had been out in the in, in the wilderness, if you will, or semi-wilderness, for months. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah there's, two, there's two types of cows. There's a cow that you raise as a pet, mm -hmm. and there's a cow that's raised for commercial. Yeah. The shoe the commercial cow back, as soon as they're out for a week, they turn right back to naturally being almost and have that wild. Wow. Know? They, 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 they eat, they feed, they stay away. Like, they kind of go to that turtle almost. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this cow wasn't afraid of the cars, and what was really dangerous, most cows won't run into oncoming traffic. We come across there by the Home Depot, on the off ran on ramp, and I mean, there was cars everywhere, and she just kept right on going. Most cows will not do that. Right, right. And wow. when we got a hold of her, she was a tad bit angry, of course. Yeah. And, um, you know, we just kept her safe. We know how to handle them kind of cattle, and, you know, it's not... no. They're not normal cattle for people to have in their backyard. You know? Yeah, That's yeah. That's why she's out. You know what I mean? People probably tried to tame her, put her in a little pen, and she just went through it like yeah. that. Yeah. Right, we're talking to Curtis Walker Jr. He's a real life cowboy that a friend of his was listening to this radio show last week. Lieutenant Hauk on the air saying we're trying to catch a cow. 
he immediately gave Curtis a call and said, "You got to get down to Utica. You got to take care of this." And instantly, within just a couple of hours, it was a it was a done deal. Pretty amazing. There's a you know there's certainly a lore and an intrigue here. You're a cowboy. You have a cowboy name like Curtis Walker Jr. We talked to you. You sound like you're from Utica. Say something country before you get off the phone here this morning. Oh, gee. oh you know I don't know. We we we're out in the country anyway. But I just tell everybody, you know, be safe, drive safe, watch the loose tail. Are you a yeehaw? Can't get a yeehaw or something? <laughs> that's that's just in the movie. Uh, and Curtis um, was was now had been out in the wild. After you did finally catch uh, catch this cow, was was she mean? Was uh, you know? Yeah. Oh. That's what people don't realize how dangerous they are. She was in an enclosed metal trailer and trying to hit the door to get out. Wow. People on the outside. So this is when, when, when Lieutenant Houck told us last week, uh, listen, this is not your normal cow that you see in a pasture. Don't You see this thing, don't go up to it. This could be dangerous. Yeah, and if they don't believe it, you mean you could go on YouTube and look up dangerous cattle, and it will show you what they can do. You know, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem with the people that don't understand. Yeah. Uh, any animal, even a horse, they turn naturally back to the instinct of wild, and they, they don't want to be caught. They don't want right. to be killed, you know? Uh, and that's why she was running. She was smart. Would she have been able to... Yeah. Would, would, she, she get ready to knock on the track. Wow. Would, would she would have been able to survive the uh, the winter time here? You know what's funny? Yes. They can. Wow. That's the craziest thing. I, uh... I rode one one time in the middle of February, four foot of snow. Wow. And the thing was fatter than, than just as fat as this cow. And they, 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 their grass is still good under the snow. And it's just like a deer. They, they dig through the snow, the grass, and the pine needles. Yeah, they, they do actually make it through the winter. Wow. That is unbelievable. Andrew. Uh, Curtis, we have a, a listener question. Um, what about mad cow disease? Is there an easy way to tell if it's got it? Or maybe if that's why it was so aggressive? Oh, you know. The, the state in, in the government is, in, uh, you know, is, the USDA is so hardcore on that. Yeah. that yeah. If you do find one, it's literally from out of state, 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, from across the border. That's why they shut down the border for two yeah. years there. Yeah. Because of that. I mean, our, our state, I mean, every cow that has moved across state lines has to be tested and has to be blood drawn and has to be tagged or. I mean, it's, it's very illegal. Now, I'll speaking. Yeah. Speaking of tags, a lot of people were wondering: Is there a marking on this that could link it back to the original owner? And was there anything? There was not a single tag in her ear. Wow. Which goes to show she was probably home raised and as rebel as she is, was unable to be tagged. She kept escaping. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's probably why she has no tags. And what happens to the cow now? I mean, part of you, you are not charging and you guys are taking the cow. What happens to the cow? We have the cow and, um, you know, I, I got a really good set of pens and I ordered them and she, she broke one board, chased by the guy up the fence. Wow. So, uh, imagine that, you know, she's probably going to have to honestly um, go on, you know, some hamburger plates or... Okay. I, yeah, listen. Oh, no. Yep. Like, I have in my house that we got saved. You know, cows, goats, chicks, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah. You have to be careful with an animal that is dangerous because people don't know how to handle them. And what happens, she will literally, and the cow's strong. Yeah, you know, yeah. They really hurt them. I mean, they think it's a pet. That's what, that's why I was surprised nobody got hurt with this cow. Yeah. She is dangerous. After all this time. Hey, and by the way, as a guy who rides horses, what do you do with a horse? So, I was a kid and my father put us up on top of the horse. The horse got down on its knees and tried to roll over. What do you do with a horse like that? That's when a horse is hot and sweaty. They naturally want to roll the hitch. Yeah. So you just kind of kick him in the ribs and fuck through him and go on. Right. We almost got rolled over on top of it. It was, uh, it was some. And the fireman that was there said, "Oh, yeah. When a, when a horse does that, you got to put a bullet in its head." Uh, oh, the boy. horse will always, uh, horse will always do that. I, I, I apparently that's not the case. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. The only uh, listen, don't listen to the people who want to save the New Hartford cow. Do what has to be done with this thing. You're quite a brilliant guy, and we appreciate what you did for Utica here. And just tell the people, you know, if the cow wasn't dangerous, she would be in somebody's back pasture and, and be saved to breed. But when they're that dangerous, they usually throw offspring that are that dangerous. I enjoy it with a little fried onions and some mustard and ketchup. Yeah, you know, for the record. Curtis, for the record. Okay. Feel free to come in sometime. 
Yeah, and, and, and bring sure, it in. We, we'd, love, we'd love to see a demonstration sometime, all right? Well, give me a call. You've got my number. All right, good deal. Thank you, Thank you so much, Curtis. I, I meant the burger. Curtis, meant wa the burger Curtis Walker Jr., the hero of the day. And Lieutenant Houck, uh, how amazing is it? This thing went on and on, and then just like that, I mean, you had to feel pretty good. Uh, yeah, it, and you know, one thing that kind of uh, is, it got lost in the excitement of, of the, the, the Cowboys coming in was uh, the work that Judy Cussworth did. Yeah. Uh, you know, she, you know, when I first got word uh, last weekend that it was in Utica, uh, she was the first person I thought of. So I said, let's call her and yeah. let's find out. Well, not to my surprise, she'd been tracking this thing for months. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't have known it was over there in that, in that area. Yeah, she, she really is amazing, and, and I've had the fortune of knowing her since I was a kid, actually. Yeah. And uh, she just, you know, she knew exactly where this cow was. She knew what its habits were. She knew, uh, you know, she told a story about up uh, that they had it in a particular area, and she was pretty sure where it was. So they went in looking for it and couldn't find it. So they put a trail camera down, and an hour later, uh, the horse came right up to the, the trail camera. So it's wow. uh, you know she she told us it's smart. It knows, yeah. and um, it, you know and she was she was there for uh, that morning when I met them. Uh, she met you know we all met together and she kind of shared uh, some of the information. Is she, she had, okay so. with the fact that um, Curtis Walker is gonna? I mean it's a mean cow. There's nothing you're gonna do with this cow except for put it down. Yeah, I mean I, I mean Judy and I'll speak for Judy, but her, you know. Her thing is saving animals. Yeah. That's what yeah. she does. That's her passion. Uh, that's what she's good at. But she understands as yeah. well that you know this this you know we people eat meat. I mean yeah. that's what this cow originally was for. Yeah. That's that's yeah. the purpose. And I think and I believe Curtis in in, res, in the respect that if if this thing was uh, more docile or able somehow to be yeah. retrained. But that's the the thing that's odd about it. I guess is that you, there's no retraining them. It's he said that's yeah. probably the reason why it's out to begin with. Is it probably pushed through? Uh, offense, and it's probably the reason why nobody claimed it because they don't want it back. Yeah, how are you going to keep this cow in offense? Um, you're not going to be able to. Right, and you know when you're talking about if, and I think originally uh, where it was up eight, off 840 yeah. is fairly wooded, and that's why I think they were sort of content to let it stay there. Yeah. Uh, you know if it wasn't harming anybody, 